Hi Alfie, hi Bella, hope you're well. Hope you've been enjoying the English sunshine. Sounds like it's been really sunny there the last few days, which is lovely. Okay, today's video is a challenge and I'm setting you a new one today called the Tower Challenge. So what I'd like you to do is look around the house and find five things that you can build a tower from. And what we wanna do is make the tower as tall as we can that at least is higher than your waist. I'm gonna show you what I've done. Where's your waist? <laughs> your waist is here. Right. So it's got to be higher than that. That's okay. the challenge for today. And ideally, the five things that you find around the house should be different things. But we'll see how you go. If you struggle, we'll allow you to use the same thing twice if you've got more of them. So have a look around. So I've had a look around and I've found my five things. So here we go. My first one I found is a washing basket. Now make sure if you take your washing basket, there isn't clothes in it. Don't throw them on the floor if there is. Try and find an empty one. So there's number one. Now mine's a bit wobbly. So hopefully your base is a bit stronger than mine. We'll see how we go. All right, and the second one I had around the house was a box. This was the special box that Granddad sent us with wine in it. It's empty now. We haven't drunk all the wine, but I'm using the empty box because it was around the house. So that's number two. Ooh, it's a bit wobbly. See, I've got to try and get it above my waist, this height. So do you think I'm gonna make it? Ooh, I don't know. All right, number three that I found is a lunch box from the kitchen. This is a big one, actually. I think there's something in here. Oh, there is, there's one left. Where's the cupcake I made? Mmm, yummy. All right, save that for tomorrow. Let's put the lid on the lunchbox. And, oh, it's a bit wobbly. That's number three. See, I've got three things, the washing basket, the box, and the lunchbox. And number four, which I think you saw earlier today, was my mat. This is my exercise mat when I do the classes with your mummy and when I do my yoga during the week too. And I'm gonna try and balance this one, but it's nice and tall, so it should be good. Here we go. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn that a little way. Oh, is it gonna hold? That's number four. And see, it's above my waist now, so we're doing well. Now my fifth one I found, this is a nice light one, is a kitchen roll. This is the last one to go in the tower. Can I do it? Oh, it's really wobbly. I've got the leaning tower of Pisa going on here. But, that's my, oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Let's try again. You've got to do it again. Alright. It's got a bit of a lean on it. It's definitely, oh, it it's leaning to the left. Or to your right. This looks better. I think we're good. Alright. There's the exercise mat. Come on, Auntie Debbie. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, it's very wobbly. Oh. Can I do it? There's four. Here we go, here we go. Number five. Ooh, oh, wow. Yes. Is it going to stay? I think is it, it is. Is it going to stay? I think it is. That is quite... That's my five things. Five my things. Tower. So one... Washing basket. Two... Wine box. Three... Lunch box. Four... Exercise mat. Five... Kitchen roll. She's got them all together. And it's higher than my waist. And it's higher than her waist and it stayed upright. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I knocked them over. <laughs>
I fell down. Hopefully yours is a bit more sturdy than mine. Now, I have given this challenge already to Grandad. I've asked him to build a tower at home. So he's going to take a picture and we're going to send it through to you. And so when you do your tower, send me and Grandad a picture and we can compare and see whose is the best. Enjoy your day. Love you. Bye. And when you build the tower, make sure you knock it down.